Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here, getting ready to take out the British 1.7 Gladiator MK2 in Air Arcade. Um, really difficult playing when it's stock. We did manage to get the engine injection and the stealth ammo, both of which are extremely important for this plane. Give it a little bit of a boost and uh, that default ammo just doesn't do enough damage. So. Let's see, um, essentially doesn't climb well, loses its energy in turns if you go with the horizontal turns, um, but it's got four guns on it. So if you can line people up and not make a target out of yourself, you can do really well with it. Uh, aside from that, I think it has flaps. So if you get into trouble in a tight turn, kind of with a key 10 or you know an I-15 or something like that, sometimes you can surprise them using the flaps in the beginning, but uh, that's about it. Let's take it out and see what we can do. We have ourselves an air dom. All right, so we've got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance, minimum fuel load. We're not gonna be able to climb up to the top and play king of the hill with anybody in this plane, but we can do a little bit of damage in the fur ball if we do it correctly. Let's go ahead and climb at 30 degrees to start. So best way to play this on an air dom, we know there's gonna be a fur ball down below A because it's low level, low tier. Um, so best way to do it is basically get some energy from the beginning as best you can, do some vertical attacks down on the fur ball, and then simply fly out towards your spawn or, you know, your team's spawn. That way, if anybody chases you, you can get some help from your teammates. Um, if they are chasing you and you want help, one, ask for it. It's T42 on the keyboard. And two, try to hang the guy who's following you up in the air so he's as slow as possible, making it as easy as possible for your teammates to uh, help you out. So don't ask for help and then get upset when you're turning and doing a bunch of stuff and your teammates can't hit the guy behind you. Uh, try to make it as easy as you can. All right, so they got a few climbers, a couple HE-100s, three of them that I don't like. Hopefully we're not going to have to deal with those guys, though. Just nosing down enough to keep our speed at about 150 miles per hour, maybe a little higher. Let's see what this HE-100 does when he goes for the P-36. We might be next on his menu. If not, he might let us get a few shots at him. Just heard a plane. Wasn't 100% sure I was clear. That's why I did that quick little maneuver. Uh, P-36 behind, looks like he's coming for us. Let's just go help finish him off before he shoots our buddy up. Alright, he's down. HE-100 coming through. He wants to head on, we really don't. So we can now turn. He's going to be much, much faster than we are though. hits. Alright, so here's how we vertical attack the uh, fur ball. So don't pick a target to start, just see which target wants to be picked. Like this guy turned in front of us, makes our life easy. And then instead of turn fighting in there, we're just going to go over towards our team and go ahead and reload and try and build up some energy again for the next pass. Let's see, yep, we're going towards our spawn. We're reloaded. Let's go back in with the F3F. Seems to have the same idea we do. Alright, 112 wants to be shot down. So I don't to us keep an eye on that one. Right, again, let's try and stay on our side of stuff. Uh, when these guys set themselves up like that, it's hard not to jump in. Alright, so back towards our spawn. We're going to reload, get a little energy back. Definitely our opponents have the advantage in numbers in the furball right now. So we'll just kind of head back until we get a nice group of our guys that we can go back in with. You know, it's a little more boring than uh, just getting in there and freaking boxing, but... It's a hell of a lot more effective. All right, so we got a MIG and an HE-51. It's good enough for government work. Let's get in there. All 
Yeah, so you're not going to get as many kills doing it this way. But the other way, you're pretty certain you're going to die at some point in the furball, so... Trade-offs. Alright, F3F F wants it. Let's give it to him. Nice, easy, fast death. 112 underneath us. He's down. Alright, too many targets of opportunity right now, so... I'm going to stick myself in the damn furball. making it out. So far, so good. We're reloaded. We just had a few guys go in. Let's follow them in. E36 is down. Oh, shit. Just looked at the radar when I heard those shots, and sure, shit, that was for me. upset about something I said. I didn't know it was his mom. It's up turning us in the moment, but we'll catch up. There we go. Alright, let's so all try not to run into each other. Reload and reset. We can go ahead and start back in now. The uh, opponents are far enough away. Try and get some speed up. Make sure our flaps aren't out. So we're capping right now because even though their team is in the cap zone, they're too low. If you're too low, you're not actually going to be in the cap zone. There's a ceiling and a floor to it. All right, furball is moving towards our opponents, which I don't necessarily like. That just means that they get support quicker. Oh god, I thought I saw a shot come off. Helps if you pay attention. Alright, so here's where we're going to use our flaps. We've got takeoff flaps. We're going to be able to surprise them in the turn. These are those horizontal turns we don't want to do because it's going to slow us down a lot. But hey, in row. Alright, one down. That's way too much trouble over there. Yeah, that's a bad idea. A fun one. I can actually throw my smoke on just to distract him. I'd rather have him coming after me than my teammates once I'm shot down. That did it. Uh, we took another plane back in, but our team ended up capturing the point before we got back into battle. So uh, let's take a look at how we did. We had 10 kills with Gladiator MK2. That's great, especially for an air dom. Uh, no other awards here. First place on the team. And hopefully we got close to spade in this thing. Let's see. I don't want that yet. I just go lowest BR first when I'm doing this stuff. All right, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, that should be enough to spade it. All right, that'll do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.